Hello everyone, this is Die Forever, and I will be speedrunning the seventh guest. With me, I have... I'm Gelly, and... I'm Doc Shucks. Flaws. Perfect. Yes, we practiced that. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so hey, this, game, this game came out back in April 1st, 1993. Um, so that's about six months before Myst. This was a, a big proponent of CD-ROM drives for computers. Uh, this was like the first killer app for that. Uh, this game, you know, I mean, this was a time when games came out on like five or ten floppy disks. And this game took up two CD-ROMs, so it's like a hundred times bigger. <laughs> <laughs> and they definitely made use of it um, with lots of FMVs, oh, yeah. animations. Oh, yeah. Lots of... Uh, and good acting. Lots of taunting dialogue and, yes, the best acting. And a seven and a half minute intro. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna be quiet for this intro, it's, it's very important. He was a drifter, moving from town to town, robbing a gas station here. A grocery store there until one night. She was coming home from choir practice, but she never got there. Stoff took her purse and ran away. He spent Stoff had to run and hide. He sunk even lower. He had nothing, no life. No possessions, no dreams. And that's when the vision came. A doll. And in his dream, Stoff reached out. It was a gift. Whittling the haunting face until it was an exact replica. And when he was done, Stoff went to town to a bar. The owner had a daughter. Ooh, he said his girl would love the strange doll. And Stoff offered it to the man. And the owner, in turn, offered Stoff food and a place to stay. A simple transaction. The first of many. Stoff created the puzzle, just as he saw it, and everyone wanted one. Stoff opened up a shop, because everyone wanted a Stoff toy. Every boy and girl in the town, from all the neighboring towns. A Stoff toy is a toy for life, people said, and no two are alike. Everyone loved his unique toys. Henry Stoff grew wealthy, but then the strange virus came, and some of the children started dying. <coughs> dying, clutching their Stoff toys so close.
and there was this one last vision. A last dream of a great house, a mansion that the wealthy toy maker was to build. A strange house, a house that scared people. Don't worry, the intro's not over yet. <laughs> We're going to get introduced to the guests here. First one is Martine Burden. Make sure to watch her face here. Very spooky. My, isn't this a cheery place? <laughs> Here's Edward and Eleanor Knox. Spooky old house. <laughs> Don't worry, dear. I'll watch out for you. Julia Hine. Oh, what a dump. I expected more of Mr. Stump. Brian Dutton. And Hamilton Temple. He's a magician, by the way, and this game takes place in the 1930s. He's obviously a magician. I'm sorry, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How did I get here? All right, spooky house, spooky game, spooky Nothing. puzzles. Let's go. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. So the time started with my first click there. Um, so a big, a big important part of the speedrun that isn't really obvious for spectators is all the blind mouse movement I have to do. Uh, since the mouse cursor disappears here, like any during any animation, cutscene, or dialogue, you can see that my mouse cursor disappears. And um, waiting I until it appears again to start aiming your mouse is slow. So I try to aim before the cursor appears. Oh, I and I can do that. Fair. With uh, windowed mode, I can move my mouse outside the window to see where it is, and then move it back in, and try to like move it from each side in, and you know try to figure out my positioning. Oh, it says that we're each to have a piece, exactly the same. This is a self-imposed challenge, by the way. He acts like this is a you know this is the interesting part of this run, but you could very easily fix this, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, we, right, die. Yeah, you could allow cheats such as um. What? Like a fake, um, what is it? The highlight where your mouse cursor is in Windows. Yeah, highlight but, where your oh, mouse cursor is. What you mean? Is yeah, control. yeah. What, what we do in Ribbon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would like right. kill all um, the speed tech in the as game, though. I've noticed that was only six guests, so now each of these guests gets a piece. Well, of cake. Uh, Five pieces. Yeah. All right. <laughs> We're making a piece some fat of cake guests. consisting of five squares. Uh, which need to have two skulls, two scones, st scones, stones, and one piece of icing. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's how you need to divide this uh, cake into into segments. And Dai is doing that in a way that minimizes mouse movement so that he can mm -hmm. blind click as much as he can. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's just straight lines from the outside in. So that means your mouse only moves one piece per. There are multiple solutions to this puzzle, but this is the I presumably best one for. Minimizing the mouse movement in blind clicking. Yeah, you never move the mouse more than one piece of cake, so it doesn't get any better than that. Unless you can move it zero, but that, Whoa. that's irrelevant. <laughs> Serve someone multiple of the same piece of cake. <laughs> Sounds like a glitch. Be a sweet glitch, dude. Sounds like cheating. <laughs> hey. Don't worry, I won't bite. Edward, we could help each other out. I could help you, and you could help me. Come and talk in my bedroom upstairs. 
where it's nice and private. Yeah, there's a lot of hidden animations in this game that we won't get to see in the speedrun, like the spinning cake, the soup, the clown. I I advise everyone to yeah. buy this game while it's on sale for Halloween and click everything and see everything. I will probably be in your chat uh, if you stream it on Twitch. Yeah, if you buy the, any you version, to... buy the 25th anniversary edition where you can skip oh, yeah. all of these cutscenes and not have to... You actually can't buy... I mean, buy... the cutscenes are good, but they... Yeah. Uh, you can't buy the other version they listed it. Uh, oh, okay. Well, that's that? good. Uh, is there, there is no that sees all content. No. Yeah, there is no category for all cutscenes. We're doing all puzzles category right here, which means we don't cheat any of the puzzles using the in-game help system. No, it um, that's the most complete speedrun that we have. Mm -hmm. There's so many little point and click things that you could look at that it would probably take another hour, probably longer, to look at everything. It, yeah, it would take a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah. it would take a while. And then you're gonna have to get lost in the maze too to hear some of that dialogue. Oh, right, right, right. You would have to replay oh, yeah. uh, puzzles oh, to hear oh. some of the extra dialogue as well. No. Oh. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah. Okay, Julia, so please solve this puzzle for us. Chat, if you could help us. Uh, we need a sentence that only has va Y as a possible vowel. Um, by rearranging those cans uh, two at a time by only switching. So there is a set uh, best pattern for that, which uh, Dai is going to present us. However, he will, uh, again, aim the cursor blindly um, in order to, to save as much time as possible. Right. Um, for those of you at home who are playing along, this just is the biggest hint. It contains the word tryst as a verb. So <laughs> feel free to bring out your archaic dictionaries and try to <laughs> suss this one out. For the maze, do you need to hit any dead end? or do you, No, you have to hit a dead well, end that is a dead end, not turning around, I don't think. Um, I don't think you can turn around. Any any dead end will trigger the feeling lonely dialogue, but there's also like additional dialogue for just walking around. Mm. Oh, so you just have to get lost. In yeah, the like at one point, Stoff says I was afraid of the dark when I was your age. Um, I didn't one, know that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one important thing about blind mouse movement and blind clicking is if I do misclick, it can cost a lot of time. Uh, some puzzles, yeah, yeah. it means. You know, you have to the undo puzzle. the move and redo the other move. Some puzzles, it means it starts over instantly and you just got to redo the whole puzzle. Um, in one puzzle, it means you got to start Ooh, the game nice. over or load a safety save. <laughs> All right, Chad, if you got Chai Gypsy, Slyly Spryly Trist by my crypt, you're right. Good job. <laughs> it's the only answer. No, so, no partial credit. <laughs> So this upcoming uh, puzzle is a good example of blind clicking, specifically actually making the click before the cursor appears, because this game will buffer your click and then do the action immediately. Um, this one's a bit easier because the pieces, oh, the puzzle pieces are large. To see um, you yeah. So, also there's it's not a lot of risk to it. Yeah, and it's also important to do the blind clicks here because there's a very tight timing window to hit. Um, if I take too long to do this puzzle, then I get an additional line of dialogue, which Mm. You know, it costs a bit of time, and the only way to avoid it is with a ton of blind clicks like I'm doing here. I'm streaming at 60 right. FPS, and, you know, I'm sure you guys can barely see my cursor. Okay, I got it. Yep. So I did it without additional dialogue. That's good. Good job. Uh, so this is the rough part of the game. <laughs> Wait, am I muted? No, you're not muted. I'm not muted. Sweet. All right, so this is the rough part of the game. This is famously bad because it's a maze. <laughs> And uh, it's possible to enter the maze without finding the actual solution. Um, As in the map. Just, yeah, in the map. There's there's a map somewhere. Spoilers. Um, yeah. <laughs> but Dai is going to choose to not do that, uh, which is a bold move on his choice, considering the maze is randomly generated. <laughs> um, he has, I believe, I, it can vary from five to 32 turns it really depends on sort of how the the randomizer's feelings we're gonna see 
how good of a solution this is. Um, and also, Dai has a very bold strategy here where he doesn't <laughs> hug a left or a right wall. He just he just has an idea in mind. So. <laughs> Jeez, you're just going forward a lot, huh? Yeah, I, I, I just have a feeling, you know? I don't know about this one, Chief. <laughs> so again, blind clicks are really important here. Um, the click boxes here are big because it's basically just right, left, or center is where I got to click. So I'm doing a lot of blind mouse movement and spamming clicks when I come up to an intersection. That way you don't see my yeah. cursor and I move um, or try to move optimally. In other words, it will look like the maze is solving itself. Yeah. Yep. Like Windows 98 screensaver. Yeah, like just like that old screensaver. <laughs> Which was, as I have heard yesterday, actually inspired by this game. Was yeah. that true? Or was that a joke? I'm pretty I sure it's remember. true. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is actually inspired uh -huh. by this game. Bill Gates did, in fact, acknowledge this game. So, seems likely. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right, we are nearing the end of the maze soon. I can feel it. <laughs> As with any puzzle game, there is one to three bad puzzles. It's unavoidable. And uh, this is one of seven of them. So, uh... <laughs> Did you count that or did you just guess? Um, you shouldn't have turned down. I have no idea. I'm sorry. I mean, to be fair, there are only like five puzzles in this game. And uh -huh. some of them are duplicated, basically. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually not true but okay <laughs> no like <laughs> tell me the coins if you haven't noticed yeah, ellie the is not the biggest yeah. um uh supporter of this game <laughs> no i like this game <laughs> no listen <laughs> well i don't want to hear a game that I'm you don't like <laughs> i'm criticizing 1993 puzzle okay. design mechanics someone talk about the math on this puzzle i'm gonna solve it <laughs> Sure. Uh, one plus. Well, no. Okay, hold on. Uh, so there's. It's a lights uh, out puzzle. So the it's, coffins it's a... are open or closed. So clicking one of the pieces will open or or close all adjacent mm. with, with whatever uh, by, is meant by adjacent. So in order to close all the coffins, which is what you need to do, um, you need to click on a certain number or, or, or certain coffins, and the optimal solution will uh, have only. Um, uh, have, will will not have you click on a coffin more than once, which is, I believe, what he just did. I actually did click one coffin once, but it didn't cost much time. Or I clicked one coffin <sighs> twice, I should say. I know. Oh, you did click one twice. Huh? Yeah, I got to reset now. <sighs> Same. Big time loss. Yeah. That one wasn't too bad, though. That was, it, it has a random start, and it can definitely give you uh, some that take quite a bit longer than others. I think, like, a 30 second difference between a slow one and a fast one. In fact, they can even give you one that only takes one click to solve it, which is, you know, what we really want. What's happening to her face? It's What's an happening illusion. to her face? Just an illusion. <laughs> she has a tongue. It's like, it's like, is that like a claymation tongue or is that 3D generated? Who knows? Um, I don't know. I'm going to say it's CGI because a lot of things in this game are CGI. If it was claymation, yeah. then what? She would like have to put the clay tongue in her mouth. That sounds kind of gross, right? These actors did a lot for this game. They could have done that. They were much. very, I could very see dedicated. It. Oh, someone oh. want to explain menu warping? Map warp. Map menu warping. Warp. Right. So every room has a um, predetermined spawn location. For example, this uh, foyer downstairs. If you go into the menu and go back out of the menu by clicking return in the menu here, you will spawn in front of the stairs. However, right below that um, label that says return is the label that says restart. And if you click that, the run restarts without asking, are you sure? Which yeah. is unfortunate. Yeah, it's quite it. a troll. <laughs> yeah. Hardest trick in the game. Yeah. I think I've only done that. Like, okay, that I, shouldn't, run. I shouldn't talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that, but technically, uh, the characters do not die more than once, as far as I'm concerned. But they are in a the cutscenes are not in chrono chronological order. Yeah, yeah. And some of those cutscenes where it looks it's like, like a character dies, they actually just barely survive, and it's you know they're in a precarious situation, but they're okay. 
until you know shortly after when they actually do die in the same night <laughs> <laughs> so who likes chess who's ready for pog champs this next uh winter or whatever here's yeah, your first puzzle who's got chess emotes queens on a board yeah who's got chess emotes i'll take yeah, any chess emotes it doesn't need doesn't need to be a queen got a pawn i'll take that <laughs> close enough oh that was a all right okay. quick puzzle place eight queens on the board that can't uh defeat each other yeah. as in can't hit each other on a diagonal diagonal <laughs> vertical they want the board. and there's three chess puzzles in this game and they're all glorious. One of them is refuting the Latvian Gambit, which I, I appreciate that one, but... No. Unfortunately, nothing's that interesting. No. Curse you! You can't! Hey, who are you? I just want to get out of here! Please! I just want to get out of here! Who are you? Why did you come here? Wait! Uh, Nagleria... I know oh, who sorry. you are! I know who you are! You're the seventh guest! And what I just saw... You're the seventh now guest. I understand! So in mercy, I understand. Mister, I'm sorry. I just came here. They dared me. The king? You. You're the one. I'm going to leave, Mister. Don't. Don't run away, please. Don't run away. Don't go. Don't go. Oh, no. Don't go. Uh, the, the knight's puzzle in the 11th hour is still better than the knight's puzzle in this game, which we're going to see uh. in... Oh, minutes. in in wild detail. The, the knight's puzzle <laughs> in a half minutes. The knight's puzzle in this game is tedious, but the knight's puzzle in the eleventh hour is brutal. Just really hard puzzle. Really? really? You don't think it's that hard? Is it that hard? One way to solve it. Well, yeah. No. The knight's in the eleventh hour. There, there's even one square you can take out of that puzzle, and it's still solvable. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well. <laughs> That's the problem. Yeah, that makes it harder. It's <laughs> the lady in white. No, I'm not saying that the eleventh hour isn't that hard. I'm saying the the, the 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 knight's puzzle here is worse. Really? Yeah. No, I thought this one was relatively easy. Just from a speedrunning perspective, easily. Yeah, yeah. So this from, is this is bishops. Oh, it's so right. Beautiful. Yeah, there's bishops. This is not the knights yet. And oh. It's a maze. I remember doing something like this when I was a little girl. You have to follow it all the way to the center. Oh, is that what I'm supposed to do? Guys, I think I did the maze wrong. I might have to go uh, back and do the maze again. Well, this, this carpet <laughs> is randomized as well. Just <laughs> This puzzle is actually rather interesting um, for a couple of reasons. One, it's actually quite difficult. Basically, you're trying to trade the bishops over without ever having them attacking each other, uh, which is actually a lot more difficult than you think. It is like basically a symmetrical puzzle with you know the black squares and the white squares playing the same because they don't interfere with each other, but it is legitimately hard. It was probably maybe the hardest one that I solved legitimately in this game. I don't remember. But die on top of that is also using a solution that avoids as much ambiguity as possible. Like if he clicks on a bishop, he's trying to avoid there being multiple moves that he has to select because there's a dialogue line and he also has to do another blind click in order to redirect the piece. So he not only has a solution that works for this, but it also has to avoid stupid, which way should I go now? And, and so it's a very good impression. Uh, it's actually quite interesting. What, what, hey, what that's a misclick there. <laughs> it was a misclick, but it didn't cost any time, so we're good. <laughs> yeah, it didn't cost any time, right? You moved a Which black square before now? finishing the white squares. I know, that's against the rules. Which way should I go now? Oh, oh yeah, and Blight Kappa, that's true. Um, if you take only like the white squares or black squares of this puzzle, then you have Which this puzzle recycled in the 11th hour. Man, you're not making it very promising for this game that you're going to speedrun. Oh, don't worry, we're not solving that puzzle. Story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess it solves that. Yeah. Which way should I go now? No! 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 Good job. Thank you. He did it. I did the thing. He did do it. He did, he did the thing. All right, now we're going to go right across the hall. into the room where Martine pulled Edward. I wonder what they're doing in there. I, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Uh, without his wife, like, what's she doing, right? 
She's probably falling mace to the center and getting lost. Yeah. I don't think they get to that. <laughs> they don't live long enough. Perhaps that's how one derives the uh, Should I take this one? Yeah, sure. take it. Uh, you need to construct a sentence starting at the uh, diagonal arrow in the top left uh, uh, part that's like aiming around the track. And you can only make steps of three or five forwards or backwards and you have to choose letters to form words and between words you need stars as spaces i can't just step so uh if you'd like to give it a go and solve this real quick because i will have this done in uh, 20 seconds <laughs> yeah hint it starts with the sky is and no i'm not saying that just because it's already done it <laughs> <laughs> And if you like this sort of puzzle, don't worry, we're basically going to be doing this again in the, <laughs> in the library. Don't think yeah. Yeah. Ready, your fate is bloody. Fun fact, ruddy also means bloody, so it's both bloody. bloody yeah, yeah, the sky is bloody, your fate is bloody. <laughs> that's basically, that's, basically what that's I mean. That's why this room is red. Yeah, that's why she's wearing red. That's why everything Not is red. Not for long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are you implying? What is it? You've already seen her tongue. I wonder what she will. Uh, <laughs> you know, maybe that's too far. <laughs> I know where the puzzles are to be solved. I know where the puzzles are. I'll take you there. But first, it's, it's changing. I, I can't breathe. I feel so sick. I will give you everything. I will give you what you want. All right. So we're we are not old enough to watch I this. We're gonna leave. So nuclear war. Yeah. <laughs> this nasty. Is the actor that plays the kid in the game the same as in the Thirteenth Ball? I don't think so. I wish. Stolf is the same actor in Stolf all is the same. Yeah. He's a hero. Yeah, he's a legend. Hirschberg. Yep. Okay, this is the first route difference. If you saw me play uh, yesterday, I was doing any percent, which doesn't play the spider's puzzle. This is the first difference in route where we actually play the puzzle. Luckily, it's right here on the way downstairs. But we get a cutscene first. Can you first. tell me what the point of all this is? Actually, I can't. No. Nobody knows. House. The arrangement is simple. You are to spend the night as my guest, and in exchange, I will give you your heart's most secret desire. And you know what that is, Mr. Dutton, don't you? I require one thing of you, a special service, a task that I set up for you. <laughs> There's a guest who hasn't arrived yet, a guest unlike the six of you, a very special your services involve that guest. You must wonder what that service is, but that is the game, Mr. Dutton. The puzzle I've set for you. This is all I can tell you, Mr. Dutton. In the morning, only one... I mean, Dutton looks, does look like a bit like Gin from Riven, but I don't think he can bring us to the point of all of this. Every wish. Can? <laughs> what? <laughs> no! <laughs> It's anyway, uh, we need to place to eight spiders across this uh, board. You can only walk thing. along the lines, and whenever you place a spider, you need to make it walk one of the lines, uh -huh. which is what you're seeing right here. Which right way now. should I go now? Which way should I go now? I believe this one's similarly optimized in that it's done differently whether you're using the 25th anniversary edition or this edition, this. simply because I think it's easier to, in the solution that he's doing now, line up the blind clicks. Um, I'm not 100% certain. I remember this Which coming up once. Yeah, I've considered using a different it's solution. Um, it would be like a millisecond time saver or whatever, just because it's the difference of where your mouse starts. <laughs> And it's hard to defeat muscle memory, so I haven't really practiced it much. 
Ah, so I lied. Never mind. Yeah, you're a complete liar, basically. It's, it's the same no matter what you do. <laughs> Don't trust anything Gelly says. He doesn't even play yeah. this game. He plays the rest of the stuff. You really shouldn't, bro. Uh... Gelly, have you ever played this game? <laughs> yes. <laughs> if you trust me. <laughs> All right, so we're going to the library now. Uh, we're going to find a puzzle inside a telescope. Mm -hmm. Imagine that, right? Uh, it's the opposite of a microscope. Yeah, that's very I believe it's an impossible puzzle. Um, it was mentioned, somebody said there's no possible way you could solve this one. So That's true. I guess we'll just have to leave this one to, for another day. Yeah, we're going to have to cheat. <laughs> Uh, while he's doing this, it's basically the bed puzzle from before, except people don't sit on the telescope and do naughty things. Yeah. But in this <laughs> library of worthwhile mention, there's a couple of things. First of all, we just passed by the hint book, which is what you normally do in any percent to skip longer puzzles. It is faster to go into that book and get hints. If you get hints three times, you can just skip a puzzle. And sometimes that's just plain faster than having to actually do the puzzle. But because this is all puzzles, we never use the hint book. And then another thing is that you, uh, there's quite a few shortcuts that lead into the library and quite a few shortcuts that lead, well, there's one that leads out of the library that we'll use quite a few times. So the library ends up being sort of a hub point from, from here on out. Yeah, and we actually got an interesting trick here after this telescope, we watch a cutscene, but then we need to get to the front of the room to watch a cutscene to end act one to progress the game. So I'm gonna, after this cutscene plays, I'm gonna menu warp to the front of the library so that I can watch that cutscene, and then I'm gonna progress through the game. Yeah. Because menu warping is faster than turning around under 80 degrees. Yeah, menu walking is well, faster than walking a couple steps flipping. to the door and turning around and looking at the couch. Yeah. Blood inside the library, blood right up the hall, dripping down the attic stairs. Hey, guests, try not to fall. Nobody came out that night. Not one was ever seen. But old man Stone is waiting there. <laughs> Crazy, sick. And me. All right, so Stop doesn't seem like a nice guy. <laughs> so here's the cutscene that's the end of Act One. And mean. Oh wait. No. Sorry. Implied Kappa, what you quoted is actually reversed in the mirror in Nox's room. I heard singing yep. upstairs, like some mad choir. Well, I heard nothing except you rummaging around your room, yelling like a crazy man. But I, why I saw blood. <laughs> how ghastly. I don't know how to describe what I saw. Why, none of them has ever well, seen None of the rest of us saw anything. How boring. I suggest we all leave and have some supper. I think that we were meant to eat the soup. Wait, wait, we need some rules. We need to stick together. Play as a team. No. Don't be such a bore, darling. <laughs> it's a game. That's why we were invited. It's a game. Everyone for himself. Or herself. <laughs> Crazy old star is watching us, scaring us, watching us play at his puzzles. Only he knows the rules. Only star. Knows the rules. 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 All right, so now we're going to take the fireplace upstairs and we're going to do the doll room puzzle. Which is bad puzzle four out of seven. So <laughs> I'm glad you're keeping count. About that. Um, <laughs> as for the people at home. Uh, so this is a puzzle that is split up into nine pieces and it's a picture and you can flip pieces along rows or columns 
which limits the sort of search space that is possible. However, the randomization function doesn't actually keep this in mind. So one out of every three potential randomizations is actually solvable, and the other two are impossible to solve due to parity. So he's going to be doing some math here to like add up what the squares correspond to, determine whether or not a puzzle is solvable. Um, and even if he does manage to get a solvable puzzle, which he will Eventually. gladly tell us if that's the case, uh, he has to reset otherwise. He has to reset the puzzle. So imagine doing this casually and just getting absolutely boned on not being able to solve it. Um, even if he does uh, manage to get away with it, it's there's no guarantee that it'll be a particularly fast solution either. So this is a heavy reset point for multiple reasons. And it's required in any percent as well, so it's a bummer no matter which way you slice it. I'm going to have to Yeah, technically it. you can skip it in any percent, you are allowed to. It's just it's not faster than just grinding for good RNG, so hmm. Yep. Oh my god. I'm going to <laughs> this looks like a rough one. You're like five in, aren't you? I think this is the fourth one. I thought this was the fourth. Yeah. Oh, man. No, nope, um, this one neither. No, no. I'm going to have to start again. Okay, two thirds to the fourth is. But it's nice and symmetrical. <laughs> 0.66 to the power of four. Okay. This bad of oh, luck is 18%. <laughs> Is it again? Again. All right. Number five puts us at uh, thirteen percent. We are, we are marathon locking it up here. I've seen twelve before. Also, so. the, the 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 starting pattern isn't as as far as I'm, I I I can tell isn't exactly like randomized like completely random. There's always certain patterns. So, they did yeah. know something about the parity, but they not didn't well. to put it in. Okay, we're up to six, seven attempts. I don't know. I'm losing count at this point. I think this is six. I'm not sure. Okay, this, this one's solvable. Okay. This one's solvable. <laughs> okay. Eight percent. Right, here we go. Let's solve some puzzle. Eight percent chance of having five failures in a row followed by a six. So, that's good. This isn't even a good that one though. Parity is just main. No, this is yeah. horrible. <laughs> this is bad. Um. It's not only just mean, it's just bad puzzle design. Because, like, this usually when you walk into a puzzle, you think, okay, I'll be able to solve this. And there is no guarantee given that. So you may be spending a lot of time thinking, but well, wait, no, this has to be impossible. But why? Uh, uh, uh. But in 1993, people didn't care about things like puzzle design. So you were just sort of <laughs> left up to your own devices on that sort of, sort of front. Yeah, I've had so. some casual streamers on Twitch who get stuck on this puzzle and they won't reset. And I'm like, do you want a hint? And they, they're they really adamant about not wanting spoilers. But I know that this is like, you know, a different case where it's like, ah, maybe I should just tell them anyways. <laughs> I never know. Yeah, in that case, I usually write a PM to the mods and ask them if they would like to know something like that. Oh, yeah, if the streamer has mods. <laughs> yeah. I know what this is. A 4 by 4 by 4 Rubik's Cube parody is at least solvable. This is, you just have to throw your Rubik's Cube down a toilet and flush and re-scramble. Re that, that's how bad this is, yeah. She let next door to us, and Samantha, she got sick, and oh no, the dolls are the children. The children's spirits became these dolls. That was his deal. Stoff took the children, but not all of them, only a certain number, and... That's it! A certain number! What? What was that you just said? For tonight, the children had to be collected. There must be one more child coming. The last guest. No! No! He's here already! I've seen him! He ran away! 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 The others are learning about the boy. What must happen to him? What must be done? We've got to find him and get him out. Help me! No! You look downstairs, and I'll look upstairs. We must move fast before the others. All right, so that's horrifying. Uh, anyways, 
<laughs> so here we're going on to this is also horrifying platform. yeah go for it and stuffing yourself into a dollhouse it's real <laughs> uh, should I take this one three. yeah um, go for it to the puzzle before you have a pattern of three by three but this time essentially unique tiles except for the T you can scroll them uh, along forwards backwards to uh, by, uh, uh, up down and left right and you need to make three words reading from left to right that hopefully makes sense in the context of this game which in this case is BTA dog yet no it's get boy Tad and um, Tad is the, the the name of the little boy in white clothes which you see and if you unless you either looked in the manual or paid close attention uh, in one cutscene that we have not seen uh, you wouldn't know that Tad is even a character or how to spell his name because Look, it's spelled T-A-D. It's a magic spell puzzle. It's all very silly, but there's only so many things you can do, honestly. There. All right, so here we see Stop with a baby. Um, you know what? We're going to trust Stop with that baby. We're just going to leave the room and leave them alone. I, I doubt it's yeah I doubt it's anything bad right it's fine well if you don't talk to the baby nothing happens so if a tree falls in the forest and nobody's around to get hit by the tree then the tree isn't lethal you know, I mean Stauf he's the toy maker right good boy. he's probably good with kids yeah that's Stauf true Stauf is just being a good boy <laughs> he's not good with kids yeah he makes toys for a living toys that last a lifetime <laughs> That's true. I think they actually say that in one of these games. Is that in the 13th doll? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Life. Life toy, toy for life, right? That's, yeah. That's oh, a, yeah, that's yeah. A... They say toy for life, yeah. All right. Okay, I'm not going to talk. Here we go with the night bubble. Do you yeah, want me to talk? Uh, you can talk about it in detail. All right. Dang. Remember the, when the bishops puzzle, you had to swap the positions of four and four bishops? Here you have to swap the position of 12 and 12 knights. You only have one empty space and... So you start with the blacks in the top left and the whites in the bottom right. However, this game has a um, feature, let's not call it a bug, uh, where it actually will also um, accept solutions where you don't essentially rotate the board 180 degrees, which is what swapping colors is, but also where you only rotate the board 90 degrees. In other words, the a fastest um, 36 move solution uh, can be exchanged by a, a 30 move uh, solution which is uh, which just turns the board 90 degrees and saves a lot of time and clicks and this yeah. is low because as you can see like every move the, um, the 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 figurine has to go out of the extruded out of the floor move to a corner move to the other place and go back into the floor mm -hmm. And note that if he misses a blind click, that's even more painful because basically he's just trying to ride through what is essentially, um, oh, what would you call it? Like an auto scroller, basically an auto scroller of 30 animations mm -hmm. and, uh, optimizing clicking on laser is really hard because the squares aren't of a great size and you have to make a bunch of predictions and it's, it's all bad, but, um, you know, he'll get through it. Um, he's focusing really hard right now because this is a really hard thing to memorize because <clears throat> it's stupid. That's what it boils down to. This is just another one. This is just a bad puzzle. What number are we at? But back to the Stauf toy as a toy for life. Um, How's that? Are you keeping counting bad puzzles? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Uh, eight out of seven? <laughs> it's hard to tell anymore. That's how they move. Um, uh, but yeah, a Stauf toy is a toy for life. You know, teach a man to light a fire, he'll keep him warm for a day. Set a man on fire and it'll keep him warm for life. That's the Stauf yeah. philosophy, yeah. That's the Stauf philosophy. <laughs> That's a good word. That is your million dollar word. And this all happened because he was a homeless guy in a forest. He was a drifter. Wow. Yeah. Moving from town to hit, town. Hit a chick with a hammer. Yeah. That was a hammer, by the way. Yeah. I feel like that that's good to clarify. Yep. 
<laughs> just to clarify, it wasn't a knife, it was just a hammer. <laughs> it says so in the novel. Oh, have, have you not talked about the novel yet? I don't think we mentioned it too much. You today. don't need to. No, none of the three of us have read the novel. I skimmed it. Die pretends that he read the first part and then skimmed <laughs> the rest. That's not reading. I do intend on reading it, though. Black is white. Yep. And white is black. Everything must change. Good for you, man. <laughs> is it canonical? Who knows? Does it matter? Not really. <laughs> let's let, let's get into the canonicity of, of, of books. Is that the right word? I don't know. <laughs> oh, the lore. Yeah. Um, By the way, do not play the CDI version of this game. This puzzle is like three times slower or something in CDI. Yeah, I think it's half an hour or something. <laughs> not, not entirely sure, but it's horrible. it's a long time for this. Even puzzle. worse than like this. It's a yeah, lot there is a CDI yeah, version. There's a CDI yeah, version there's a CDI. Game, yes. So this this game, the animations are like drowning slowly. That game, it's like you're drowning even slower. That's not a good analogy. <laughs> I um... thought that was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty accurate, at least. <laughs> I mean, it's accurate, but they this replaced is... the spiders with silkworms, so it's drowning differently. Uh -huh. This is not on Sega CD. Um... I'm pretty sure the reason is because Nintendo bought the console rights for this game so that Sega could not get it, and probably because they did expect to have their, their CD system uh, where they cooperated with Sony, but then they canceled that deal. So I'm pretty sure that's why this game never made it to Sega CD. And that might also explain why this game is on CDI. <laughs> Because I remember Nintendo shared some rights with them, I think, right? There's like a Zelda game on CDI, mm -hmm. or two Zelda games. There's yeah. Three Zelda mm -hmm. games as well. Yeah. Three. And, and they're all bad, right? Right. <laughs> they're horrible. Yeah. Yeah, they're so bad they're not even canon, yeah. <laughs> like Mist. And it takes a lot for games to not be canon in the Zelda universe, yeah. Yeah, fun fact, this game is as canon as uh, the Legend of Zelda CDI series. So. <laughs> what universe? Is any Zelda in game Zelda canon? Universe, yeah. Is any Zelda game canon? Um, yeah, they have a freaking timeline where, like, it. Yeah, but isn't like, that fan made? Isn't that a fan theory? The to the past. It's, it's the three, no, it? they have it on, like, an official book and a website and everything. And, like, oh, the, the there's awesome. the Link gives up timeline, there's the Link dies timeline, and then there's the Link wins timeline, and they're all united in the Breath of the Wild timeline. Oh. The whole thing about it. CDI doesn't fit there. <laughs> Official or not is a meme. I'll stand by that meme. They tried. Oh, this is all so beautiful. This is another puzzle. That is optional in this in this version of the game. We don't even Just come into like this room in I any percent. Um, this one, the spider's puzzle, and the card's puzzle, which you'll see next, are all the optional puzzles. <laughs> and there's no indication that these are optional, by the way. We just, I don't know, figured it out by magic. <laughs> Shot through the heart. You're too late. Forward about this you get <laughs> whatever style for bad name. Um, so this is this is literally you just turn a couple of things and then it plays a sweet paint fill oh. animation once you get the solution right, right? Or you have to click the heart to get the paint fill animation if it's right. Yep. Yeah, I gotta click the heart to no. pump the blood. Oh. You click the heart yep. to pump the blood. Seems rather messy to have a heart on your carpet, but like, you know. Yeah, but at least at least it lets you know what when I've you win. Seen from the earlier, in the CDI mm -hmm. version, this puzzle doesn't exist. There's just a heart popping out and some animations, and then it's done. Yeah, yeah, you're correct. This puzzle doesn't exist, but the heart like... does. Uh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. There are some weird changes in the CDI version. Although they do the, they do yeah. have that sweet maze entrance in the CDI version, which is maybe a bit too over the top. Mm -hmm. Like, it's kind of silly, but it is pretty cool. How much the run is just waiting for animations? Like 99 percent. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, I mean, 
<laughs> you win. You win. It, it, it is a weird speed game. Um, but there's definitely a lot of, you know, like every single click is an opportunity to save time. And maybe the difference between like Wait, good blind back, clicking and bad blind clicking is only a few minutes. You have to leave, son. But, you, have to come um, with me. you know, the difference is there. I mean, you figure you got to multiply, like you count how many clicks are in the game. And it's like, what, a tenth of a second at least per, per click that you can do better. No, I have never counted the number of clicks in this game. <laughs> and for my final trick, I shall die, die horribly. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely his final trick. <laughs> but don't worry, we're going to see his uh, second to last trick soon. <laughs> CDI faster for low click percent. Yeah, it's hard to tell. No, I don't, so I don't think CDI is, is faster for anything because the walking is even really slow. Five people have run this game and nobody owns CDIs anymore. So, <laughs> I mean, we could probably ask some CDI people oh, what's up, but. Dying to see Will they do the Othello? Next? Up and Othello down is and side the microscope? Side yeah, I'm doing microscope. Oh, the microscope. Oh, oh, the microscope. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. The microscope will be done. So this is the card puzzle. That'll be soon, actually. The idea of the card puzzle is that you can move cards, and you have to go in a straight line, and you can hop over previously done cards. This is a theme that'll come back yes. very soon. I think it'll be the next puzzle the next that you puzzle, do yeah. in the yeah. coins puzzle. You got to do them one after the other just to really, you know, drill it in. <laughs> What's DA stand for? Defense attorney? No. Um, uh, I think it's a D and then a. a um... What's that symbol? The card symbol? P. Spades? Spades, yes. The so D of spades? No, the D is the queen. The D is silent. The... Oh, right. That's only in German. Sorry. The D is silent. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the right symbol was spades. It's like a rocket. I don't know. Sturdy work. Even Houdini didn't use such heavy weight. Perhaps this is the secret of Stoff's power! Yes! <laughs> I love how he throws the hat away. What's the noise? Yes! Temple, what the hell are you doing? Stop it! Stop with your... No! Stop! Okay, so right now we're on the east side of the upstairs hallway. We need to get to the west side of the upstairs hallway. Uh, you might think you would do that by walking to the west. You'd be wrong. We're going to um, fall through the floor. And then we're going to take the fireplace back upstairs. <sighs> makes sense. It makes all the sense. I think so, too. Pico Valle Dama? No clue. I have to Google that. I have no idea what Let that is. Let us know. All right, here we go. You guys have never seen a puzzle anything like this before. Um, it's definitely entirely unique. Get ready for your socks to be that, blown off. Fire Dama is the oh, Russian term for Queen of Spades, if I understand that correctly. By flipping over coins in, in sequence. It makes sense. <laughs> I don't. Thank you. I don't know. <laughs> like, what's the point of solving these puzzles? Okay, I know. Okay, I know. But please let me ask the question. What What's the point of Stauff having you do all of these puzzles? Like, does it defeat him in any sort of way? Yeah. Because he's evil. Are they, these Horcruxes, Hor Horcruxes? Because he's evil. Yeah, he's so evil, and he makes puzzles to be more powerful. There is a puzzle with coins. something like this one in the 13th doll. Yeah, the 13th yep. doll has a puzzle with coins, but it has different mechanics. And a dollar bill. There is also a dollar bill, yeah. The dollar bill one's really bad. Uh, they actually the had to... Bill was they had to patch it. Yes. They had to patch the dollar bill one so it was easier yep. to see. They had to add more texture resolution. They had to add more pixels. This yeah. Money. <laughs> rich, filthy, rich. 
So this is important. So first, he died. Yeah, first we see him die. What's going on? He's taking a bath in ectoplasm or something. A secret room. <laughs> and there he is again. Is and then he runs into a secret chamber. Yeah, the most secret of all rooms. And I sold it. Yeah. <laughs> so place your bets. If this is sort of a master bedroom arrangement, what would the secret room be? A place your bets, place your bets. Could be a bathroom. A closet? A chapel? Oh, it's, it's a chapel. chapel. <laughs> it's a medieval ass chapel. <laughs> Flying gargoyles, swords on the wall. I love that, that cutscene. Only what you see. Could have been, that could have been an Ixipi. <laughs> yeah, you're right, it could be. We got the Shivers universe in here. Okay, no one's going to explain this puzzle because it's impossible to explain, but don't worry, it's really easy to do it. It's impossible to explain in that short time. The colors correspond to the number of steps you can take, and you can only arrive on a very specific step on the end, otherwise it'll reset. And tell it doesn't you, explain this to you. The only what you see can you get from A to B. <laughs> exactly. Go! Alright, now we're going to watch Stoff totally not kill a baby. <laughs> For the second time. <laughs> For the second time, yeah. Now, now the sacrifice I love his outfit, though. <laughs> yeah. Like, this is the only time he wears this. It must be brought to me. And I love this this cartoon villain laugh right here. After the, after the sword. Listen, listen. Look at his hands. <laughs> All right, I got to play. Yeah, there's a sweet organ on the left. You guys yeah. should check it out if you play casually. Yep. <laughs> but we're going straight to the microscope. With a 12th out of seven bad puzzles, the microscope is infamous for its difficulty. Uh, it's a variation on like Othello? I don't know. Or it's reverse. More a variation on the original heck puzzle. No, reverse on Othello are the same thing. Okay. I believe. Um uh, so you can just like in the original hex puzzle if you if you remember that for DOS, you can either make one move forward or um by by doubling yourself, or you can jump two moves forward, whatever forward means in that sense. And if you place your tile next to an opponent tile, we are red, he is green, um you you eat them up. And since yep. this is the harder version of the um of the game. Uh, this is a long solution against a difficult enemy, which Guy has uh, prepared for us today. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Yeah, nothing else to say except we found a series of events that always manipulate the AI into barely losing. So. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, on the first time you open the puzzle, uh, stuff behaves det deterministic, so... You can use the same uh, strategy of moves uh, every time. Yep. Um, interestingly, in the 25th anniversary edition, they both made this puzzle optional, which is good because this puzzle sucked casually. But not only that, they also greatly simplified the AI to being so bad that you can beat it in seven moves. So the fact that they implemented both of these is just a big question mark. And so we just sort of pretend, yeah, whatever. Thankfully, for the most part, the microscope only comes up in all puzzles for a seventh guest, and it's not really that big of a bugbear. It's just weird. Sold him. Hmm. Oh, damn. Yeah. Drop, connect, erase. Oh, no end. Oh, uh, I see. Uh, 
I'm going to have to start again. But yeah, basically what it boils down to is there's no fast way to ever beat this AI, so as long as someone could come up with a solution, then that's just a solution that you can use. Um, you probably could potentially be more optimal by duplicating as much as possible, preventing further moves, but that's likely difficult to pull off in a I'm going to have to start controlled again. environment. I did find a solution once that was one move shorter, but it took longer because of extra dialogue and stuff. <laughs> extra dialogue and extra nice. serp sounds. And you can't really like run a brute force or Python program to try to figure it out either because we haven't been able to extract the AI that actually does this. So should I have done that? Um, unfortunately, a lot of this is secret. Although I might toss this game into Ghidra one of these days and take a look at some of it just because that'd be interesting. But finding AI is difficult. This game is the OG ASMR. Great move. Mm, no. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> okay, good. I didn't screw that up. If I had made a mistake there, then I would have had to load a safety save because the RNG state would have been advanced in a, you know, in a spot that I obviously wouldn't know. It would just be random at that point. So it's a good thing I didn't misclick there. <laughs> All right, so next up is the gallery puzzle. Uh, this is another puzzle that has a random start, oh, yeah. and I need math in order to solve it. Uh, the first puzzle yeah. is figuring out how to how to freaking get there. <laughs> yeah. And right. gets so to the puzzle with the coffins, which we saw at the end of the maze. Oh. We, have, we start again with a three by three grid, and we need to um, essentially close, um, put it back to the original state, right? For the coffins, we had to close all the coffins and we'll now have a face with either the regular face, uh, uh, red squares on the face, or green squares. Only the doll room puzzle has impossible starts. This one is always possible, yes. just not always fast. <laughs> yeah. You can take a ridiculous amount of moves to try to figure it out because basically for each the square the there's sort of a kernel that you can implement in order to flip it back and by convolving all of the kernels necessary you could come up with the math pretty instantly but that's difficult uh, and non-intuitive so instead of, I think you just try to reduce how many there are and then you solve it from there. I'm not 100% certain though. Yeah, yeah, you reduce uh, the the number of of non uh, skin tiles, and then calculate the uh, solutions for those. Add them together, mod three, and then you've got the number of picks. Yep. For each piece. And there we go. Foiled again. Now we get to see the tech demo animation. This is the animation they used to show off the tech before the game came out. It is horrifying. Yeah. In case you wanted to see it again. Oh, you will. Don't you worry. <laughs> Don't be alarmed. It's just that Stauff made this painting extra stretchy and he sticks his face through the back of it when he gets bored. <laughs> that would be a lot less unsettling, yeah? Oh, beans. <laughs> I, I, uh, I'm not yeah. even going to bother with this one. You have fun. All right. So, uh, follow the leader, Simon says, whatever you want to call it. Um, 
Staff is going to uh, give a note and you have to repeat that note. And that turns into a sequence of notes that you have to repeat every time until you have a complete sequence of 18. 17 or 18? 18. 18, 18 this notes that you have to hit in a row, song. which um, uh, artistically is the, I don't know, the theme of the, of the game. So you hear this melody quite often during the game. Um, since we're doing uh, all puzzles, we need to solve this one. Uh, the hitboxes are very, very unforgiving. It is easy to misclick. To play and since we're playing the original version, um, there are two keys on the far right whose hitbox is separated by an area that is not part of the piano, but far enough to the right to click to the right out of the puzzle. So if you misclick there, um, you turn to the right, go back off of the that puzzle, and um, the puzzle starts better. over. Uh, yes, it is uh, very similar to Shiver's Lyre, but it's not randomized. So this will always be the same melody, but uh, but it, it's going to be a little longer. And uh, this brings us to awful puzzle number 24 out of 7. Oh, the you. final puzzle in the game. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is not the final puzzle, but okay. Uh, oh, wait. It's the final awful puzzle, because the dollhouse puzzle is far worse. Well, it's, it, the dollhouse puzzle is tolerable. It's good. I like it. What's the one before that? I'm trying to remember. <laughs> the attic door. Chuck. The attic door. Oh, the attic door. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, beans. Course. Yeah, that'll be number 25. All right. <laughs> <laughs> there are 24 puzzles so in this I'm game. I'm bad okay. at this. <laughs> Ellie, you need to play this. <laughs> it, it transcends. Yes, that is Ellie you hear in the background. Well, background. It is me. Hello. You have to hit them 153 times in total. That's true, because 18 times 19 divided by... Wait. 9 times 19 is... Never do math on stream. <laughs> I'm doing math on stream right now. 90 plus 81 is 171. No, is it minus 1 or is it plus 1? I thought it was an N plus 1 over 2. It should be an N plus 1, I, I believe. N, N minus 1 is something else. Because, like, yeah. 10 is 55, and 10 times 11, yeah. You know what? That's why I do math on stream, because I'm right. <laughs> uh. Either way, it's awful. So, uh, he's focusing super hard right now. Nobody interrupt him. Nobody talk about stupid math while, try while he tries to figure it out. Um, intense, necessary concentration, serious time. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, good thing we're not trying to break his concentration. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> you know there's like push to mute buttons and stuff. I it it came so suddenly. <laughs> it was like I was possessed. So this is the part of the song where the game really tries to troll you with the click boxes on the right side. Because you start getting notes mm -hmm. that straddle the, the click box for the right turn to get away from the puzzle. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, that sliver between the last two notes is a killer. Uh, it also leads you to be slower, unfortunately, because uh, as you could imagine, I imagine for the last couple you're absolutely terrified that missing it would be pretty much the end, and these aren't trivial uh, hitboxes to put your mouse under, so. All in all, number 23 out of 7, I made a miscount. Number 23 out of 7 makes its debut. The most educational run on NASA ever with all the orange trim there. <laughs> While we're waiting for the piano puzzle to finish here, I'd like to talk about Fermat's Little Theorem, which is the fact that uh, for any prime p, a to the p minus 1 is equivalent one. to 1 mod p. <laughs> <laughs> for any a that is uh, co-prime to p. To p. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. And if it's not prime, then you can do a to the p is equivalent to a. Which we are not going to need in any puzzle. Sadly. Well, if you're, if you're oh, using... Can you solve me puzzles with Famas Little Theorem? 
Oh, dude, that'd be neat. Because, like, well, well you, you could probably do... For any casual player. <laughs> you could probably do some sort of exponential puzzle where, like, the solution is one, two, four, eight, and then, like, it's, like, mod five, or, or it's it's mod... Yeah, mod five doesn't work, but, like, mod 11. So the next solution is 16, which turns to five, and then you realize, oh, it has to be this long because it's from mod's little theorem. Although that starts to mess with the multiplicative order of uh, two mod whatever prime that you're using as a modulus, so. See, even I couldn't I'm, I'm so that. sorry. I'm so sorry. And you're the one talking about I... awful puzzle. <laughs> about this puzzle. What? Sorry, Dai? And Gelly's the one talking about awful puzzles in the game. <laughs> Here yeah, he is right? all inventing the worst puzzle of all. Oh, dude, it'd be so cool, though. Come on. <laughs> I'll get a bunch of my weirdo number theory friends to play a stupid puzzle game. Uh. So yeah, that's how long this piano puzzle is. We're almost yeah. done. I, I can tell, sort of. <laughs> Let's talk about the saucy skeleton hand animations that do the nah uh wave. That's pretty cool. Oh, you mean the uh, hand? Ooh, okay. Yeah, the waving hand. The hand animations are great. Unfortunately, you can't see them quite as well in the 25th uh, anniversary edition because it's a smaller hand. So, And in the 11th hour, it will be an even bigger hand. No! Hey, all right. Stop struggling. Stop struggling, a lot of squeeze you till you pop. Help! He's ours, Duffin. We figured out what to do. The boy is ours! No! The boy's mine! I won! I solved the puzzle! Oh, take him now! Get away! Well, give us the boy, Duffin. We know what to do with him! Away! How many red dresses did she bring? Quick! <laughs> Enough. Yeah, enough for one night. <laughs> <laughs> With enough blood that's being spilled, you could get a fair bit more. Yeah. Alright, so now There's we also take... plenty of dead people on the premises. Which is... Yeah, so now we take this plant oh, yeah, and we're going right. to climb it upstairs. This is intuitive. Yeah. Yes. This is much shorter than going around up the stairs. All right, so now we're in Dutton's room. Now we just got to go out the door, and then we'll be facing the attic door. It's a very convenient shortcut, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing that I kind of forgot to mention is that we have avoided a long cutscene in the hallway where Eleanor and Hamilton Temple talk. Um, like if you go up the stairs and just turn west, turn left, uh, we've avoided that for the entire run just by using shortcuts and smart routing to not go that way. And we've also avoided several of the animations of the woman in white, the ghost that floats around upstairs. All right, if you remember the, the, the Chinese checker solitaire puzzle from Shivers, this is the same thing, just not like on a, a square grid, but on a, well, pentagram, I guess. So you hop with one dagger over the other, removing the dagger in the middle. And we do that uh, in a way that um, minimizes the number of uh, options where you have to go. Uh, so he doesn't say which way should I go now, similar to the bishop's puzzle. Yeah, in this puzzle, we actually get to avoid I that entirely. Yeah. Ah, right. Great move. Great move. <laughs> and here's where the game would have asked you to insert disc two. For these in other, way, in other words, we're halfway through the game. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, we're halfway there. <laughs> halfway we might be a little overestimate, though. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, final puzzle. Um, 
four different shapes of windows and you have four directions to, to, to put onto them. So you start by clicking a window and then with the next move you select what direction that window is supposed to represent. So he starts with the um, circular window and moves up. So now circle window means move up. Then the semicircle he moved right. So yes. every semicircle will now move you to the right. And he put now has put an order on all four of them. So now he just needs to find the correct starting squares to beat this puzzle. And that's it. I mean this. <laughs> no! Okay, so there will be some cutscenes and time is coming up soon. Within like a minute maybe or something. Get up. I can't run away. Yeah, be crooked. I think most people do it like that. Come here, you little one. One last puzzle. Someone help Okay, time is coming up soon, in like a couple seconds. It'll be when I start turning. Time. Nice. GG. All right, GG. sub 110. The smell. That's pretty good. I, I can't breathe. To give perspective, the world record is one minute at uh, one hour, eight minutes, 20 seconds, 26 seconds. So, yeah, that's a pretty decent time. Yeah, especially with that terrible doll room. That was like six six or seven tries on the doll room yeah, or whatever. That was a really bad RNG. Yep. And of course, I was playing a little extra state safe for microscope and piano specifically. Has left the chat. <laughs> Alright, well, surely Stoff is, is gone, right? He's been defeated? Yeah, yeah, he's gone. Forever. Yeah, mm -hmm. forever. He's died forever. We did it! <laughs> he's died Wait. forever? Oh my god! Wow, that took you a while. Volume 1. Volume 1? Oh, this is Is there another game. volume? That's right, guys, there's another no. volume. We're gonna watch the sequel in the oh, 11th no. hour. Immediately after this, yeah. Dark Shocks is gonna be playing. Yep. Looking forward to seeing you all on the other side. Yep. These credits, mm -hmm. this credits music, by the way, is amazing. It's called Skeletons in My Closet. Just, just so you know to look it up. 
<laughs> also, the game. In the in this game soundtrack, there's a song called The Game, and that is also very good. Which one is that? Is that the fish, uh, the Queen's puzzle? No, it's not. Well, there's not really a MIDI. It has vocals and stuff. Oh. It's it's the song you play on the piano, but you know, for real. Oh, I see it. Okay, so I guess um, yeah, we can switch whenever. Um, yeah, so. This was the seventh guest. See you guys soon for the 11th hour. Thanks for watching. Thank you.